Hello, so I recently got done furnishing my studio apartment. I think I had like the last items I need to be satisfied. Well, satisfied enough. <laughs> I got it last week. So yeah, I would say I'm done and I think it's just time for an in-depth conversation about what I chose, why I chose it, um, how I decided to fill the space, certain details about pretty much the items I have here. I do have things to say, so let's get going. To this very day, my <laughs> favorite part of my studio are the pink suitcases I have right here. I just feel so lucky <laughs> to be able to have an apartment where I can put, well, where I can put this somewhere and it can also work as it kind of has like a dual function where it, they're my suitcases. If I need to go somewhere, travel somewhere, I'm probably, I've got to go up there and pull one out, but it also works as decoration. Imagine if this apartment didn't have this part, then we would have some trouble with it. That would be absolutely in the way, nowhere to put storage. So that is very, very um, ideal. Moving down, this is something I always had even when I was living in my mom's place. It's just a bamboo board. It has its own legs and everything. And sometimes I pull it out. I don't want to eat on the bed, you know? So I'll, when I have food, I'll like pull this out and set the food next to the bed and I could just stretch and eat from there. And then down below, here's how I filled the kitchen space. These are plates and cups from Walmart. They were all 50 cents. And I wanna say that when I had a vision in my head of what I wanted my dinnerware to look like, I didn't want ceramic. I knew that I, knew that I wanted, um, what do you even call this? plastic i did want this style of plastic and so i was very lucky to have walked into the walmart and find this for only 50 cents this is the dish drainer that i got from the dollar tree these that i got from the dollar tree um i don't i don't organize it i try my best not to pull this down because you said pull it down you see that so i don't even bother to pull it down i just reach in and feel for a knife, a spoon, a fork. This is the grater I got from the Dollar Tree. This is the mini cutting board I got from the Dollar Tree. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And from Walmart as well, I have this really cool waffle maker, the Barrymore Air Fryer. It is such a happy accident that I picked this. I went to Walmart and try to see if there's an air fryer i can have immediately when the one i ordered comes i'll just send it back and that's when i found you see from the marble white gray and dark gray but your eyes can trick you in a sense where it has gold so it goes along well with the gold handle it goes well with the gray and the white i, I like that my drew barrymore whatever whatever matches what i have down there and these are the baskets i use to put food i have it in this pink shade and i have it in gray and right now we're using gray and i just put the pink out there this now <laughs> i already had it stained unfortunately i made muffins in here i've made delicious delicious egg bites in here great purchase and i look forward to seeing what else i can make in here for myself the color it's confetti themed so it matches the cutesy girl aesthetic i have going on here you know with its confetti print this electric pot i got this from amazon basically what happens is i plug this in over here right and i plug this in over there and i can basically cook all sorts of foods so far i have cooked macaroni i have heated up soups i think i i think i made ramen <laughs> over here i have my trusty kettle this also was from amazon and yeah, what can I say? I wanted a white kettle and I got a white kettle and I'm happy with it. Let's talk about this. <laughs> so I needed knives. And when I was online, I was like, let me see if they have pink knives. Why not? Let me see. And Eureka, we do have pink knives. We have pink knives and we have this butterfly knife holder. This shade of pink, I don't even have the word for it. Like the best I can say is like chicken pink. <laughs> okay it's uncooked chicken pink 
and that was slightly disappointing because that doesn't match the other you know types of pinks i have around here so i was like oh i have a pink that doesn't match but i got used to it especially when i realized that the uncooked meat shade of pink that this has does match up well with this basket does match up well with the pot this is the shade official shade of pink you know for the kitchen stuff that i do have in the shade pink so i'm and that kind of made put me at peace in this drawer <laughs> i have put some of my tools remember this hammer i used to get the bed my screwdriver and what is this my measuring tape and all the instruction manuals i have for my stuff i have also stuff in here it's not all that organized i want to say i can't be bothered but maybe i should be bothered right i feel like i'll be a better person if i was an organized person so we'll see if i ever get to that but again this is the map that i chose i have so much pastilles going on so i really appreciate um a hint of maturity here with the red barn you know popping off from the black and white color scene i think i think it really brings about the maturity this space needs let's talk about me bed me bed me bed in my past vlogs you have seen me put this bed together you see me spray paint the wood and let me just warn you right now is a spray paint successful no there's chipping everywhere you see that there's chipping here there's chipping here yeah there's, there's chipping all around here okay there's chipping in all sorts of spots but it's small enough where I just don't care from afar it looks pink enough and if it ever does bother me I do have some extra spray paint to fix that but i just want it overall to be pink and it is and again this is a small studio that i have the intention on living in just one year so very cheap not the best quality wood that's not a complaint yeah that's a i want something stylish but i want something fairly disposable right yeah this is just for a year let me show you what i have in my shelves as you know i am a huge book person i will go to sleep with be it fiction books notebooks i, I would always go to sleep with stuff about me and i would always wake up with stuff around me because i always had the intention to wake up using that stuff yeah wake up and have that be the first thing i delve into so it was really convenient for me to have a bed frame that came with shelves right next to me as i sleep as i lounge here are my journals this was my sales journal well it's still going to be when i find another sales job this i got from the dollar tree it is the the viral valentine's jar i have had the idea that maybe i will fill this with a bunch of candies and i still have that idea but again i am very afraid of bugs especially in the bed area i'm not i can't stand that so right now it's working as a piggy bank you know i could put coins in that this is my glasses these my keys so through the camera of course it's doing that it's doing that um the glitching but there's something about putting your finger there that makes it capture very very still it's in military time i can't i don't know how to get it out of military time but as i said before it is an alarm it's a clock it's bluetooth so i like to connect my podcast to this and listen to it what's really really cool about this bed frame right when i was unboxing it it came with it came with this whatever whatever i don't know the name of the name will pop up okay and according to the instructions it actually wanted me to i guess drill you see these holes there it wanted me to drill it against there right and the cords will go through the hole it will go through the hole and then i could plug in my things but i really couldn't be bothered and i just wasn't figuring out um what nails can what nails they wanted me to drive through there so i'm very happy with it this being there as you can see i have this already through the hole i'm charging my tablets currently i also have the other one right there's two there's two there's two cords and i have that charging this bluetooth all right so the, the, and you know like any other bluetooth speaker you do have to charge it every now and then so just having yeah that feature there in the bed frame really really helps to just 
to keep it here as an alarm clock and as a sorry and as a decoration they don't have to move it back and forth they can always just stay there and that's supposed to be hidden i think that's really really cool again i'm super happy about picking that bed frame this was the one of the finishing items for this apartment i had the idea that i will buy a projector and i'll be able to watch movies from there and yeah so what i do is i put it here this is the remote i plug it into the plug i have over there and it projects movies or whatever well i close the two doors and yeah i pretty much watch movies from my bed like this but let's also talk about the sheets okay because i'm pretty proud of it actually let me start with the error that i had if i was to reorder again if i was to go back in time and order this again i would go for the 10 and 12 is mattress right i think it'll be more appealing aesthetically if this was a bit higher right if this was if the height of the mattress was up here i don't know i feel like it would look more full you see that space there the, some access mattress i really had to push it down here right for it to fit and that was tricky and that's when i realized you know so this was probably more designed for a spring mattress not so much a foam mattress for it to look nice you know i really gotta stuff it in stuff it in i have to do that and i felt like it would be much more easier to put in if i had a spring mattress a foam mattress absolutely made this more difficult for to fit the sheet properly like i don't even want to show you because it hurts my fingers right it hurts, it hurts my fingers to go in between here pull this out and get those sheets you know over and aligned okay, so that's one of the errors of my purchases but i really am happy with this sheet that i chose it is a rose print sheet i think it's really really beautiful really really cute and i was always mulling over what i was going to do for the comf the comforter i was afraid that it, it would just look too plain but it's perfect because <clears throat> the i already forgot the term oh dear but let's say the knitting pattern the knitting pattern of course right it's completely white but it has that pattern that gives more texture to its look and it's white so it just matches well with of course the white headboard that i have um framing the bed and also it just goes well with the completely white space right it, it it's complementary with the completely white space while having its own texture as a bed so i really do i'm really happy that i went along with this this so this i got i've always had this i've had this a long time i think i bought this when i went to the barbie premiere not the barbie premiere i'm sorry the movie theater with my party right the same party i had a tea party with when i was trying to put my stuff away because i didn't have like a car to store my things in right to change clothes and put my stuff away i got this at home goods and i still have it because look at that it's super cute it's really really cute and thankfully it matches my studio so i was able to just hang it there officially and what i used to fill it with i have filled it with my blankets right this the purple stuggy i have and the gray blanket that i think you've probably seen in the past vlog and i probably put some shopping bags i think i have a walmart shopping bag and a target shopping bag those shopping bags i should mention are what i use to transport books right i do walk to the library so i just grab a shopping bag sh shopping bag there stuff the books in and make my trip to take this back i'm supposed to make a trip today i think these are due today but I can't be bothered i guess i'll turn it in monday and see what happens now, here is the bathroom i said before that the goal of the bathroom was cherry mass maximalism okay and that definitely failed there's just not enough appealing cherry um items available there's so many strawberry items i, I guess strawberry is in the market for fruit decorations fruit furniture okay but not cherry for some reason because it's weird because i think cherry is way more iconic see okay that's my cherry mat 
And I was able to get some cherry shower hangers. Look how beautiful. Okay. And the gray is a dollar. It function. It's, it's a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and it's functional. So that is what's up. I got this um, cherry toilet brush. I have. I actually haven't took a good look at it. Okay. This is the shape. All right. And mind you, my first toilet brush, the one that I got from the Dollar Tree, is right here. I'm still gonna use it, right? When the time, when the need comes, I'm still gonna use this one, not this one. Because number one, let's say I use this one and I put it back. Like, how is the water gonna dry in there? No. And yeah, this is not meant to be used, it's meant to be decorative. And now I tried to find something else cherry, but the one that I had was not matching up with this. Like, the, the shade of pink was off, it had some yellow, like, it was. It just didn't match so I definitely took it back and I couldn't find anything else appealing I still have the idea of something of a red mat I saw some really nice red mats that I could place in here that would just come together with everything but in a need for a mat because I was tired of coming out the bathroom stepping here stepping here and getting everything wet I was tired of that so I landed on this heart okay and I think it fits perfectly. And I especially love this heart because, you know, look at the roses. And this is a bunch of red roses, part of the design. And that just goes along with the red roses, the pinkish reddish roses I have over here. So at least it matches some part of the house, not the house, of the studio. The first finished space in my studio apartment was the closet i'm really happy with what i did with the closet okay so these two these oh, geometric pattern storage boxes is i got from dollar tree my umbrella is here a few more books is here that i've always had and my diploma is in here my high school diploma and this i just stuffed it with all my tech stuff right that's what it's for all my techie stuff this is some christmas ornaments like i got remember the bj hat and the christmas wizard hat and the christmas headband and these are me clothes for the hangers nothing special i i just wanted like a simple white hanger and i did got a bunch from the dollar tree for as you can imagine a dollar and then there is this chest of drawers that i got from amazon I got it because, as you know, it's pink, it's cute, but I'm really happy with certain features. I like that I have a shelf, okay, and that I use to put my towel, and I have some pads here. I have this, so I just, I just put it in there, you know. And this is my makeup that I also always had. It also came with these these hangers i put my barbie hat here my other barbie hat here okay and my shower cup because i have braids this is a shower cup long enough to protect your braids and so what would happen is i'll grab this i'll grab that take a shower i'll put this back and i would hang that back there and that that just hangs in the other side i also have my bag so remember this bag that i got from the barbie tea party and, uh, and then i have this this regular schmegla school bag that i've always had one purchase that i really really love is this tan laundry basket okay again it, it just goes well it comes with with the net and it comes with wheels okay so when it's time to wash i move my shoes of course and i just well let me just show you right let's just show you uh well wheel that well the I, ideally wheel it out but <laughs> this is so i had to cram this okay into the space i can't it's not as smooth <laughs> as you would imagine but i am just happy with it it's my favorite thing i think it brings the whole closet together stylistically i have put my mannequin right because i still want to learn how to braid right i have some hair ready to when i get ready to learn that is where i put my detergents um fun fact about this this was buy one get one free it's not important to this video but i just wanted to say that i'm so happy i got these big old things buy one get one free you know 
luggage detergent is expensive as hell so i feel lucky about that and this okay this is a storage container i got from the dollar tree okay now mind you when i brought it home i wasn't happy because again the shade of pink does not match but i can't be bothered i bought it it was a dollar let's just use it right let's use it for its function and its function is a whole bunch of stuff a bunch of hair stuff a bunch of perfumes i got for my birthday a bunch of extra skincare stuff and that's just where i decided to place it for later use okay and here are my jeans yep i don't have a lot of jeans i don't have a lot of stuff it definitely works for me that this place is this small then maybe if i get more stuff then i'll put it here and i'll have to figure out what i do over here okay so first yeah, let me start with the whatchamacallit the film i have over here i'm so happy with this you guys okay i like that it's iridescent it definitely goes along with the space very well i think any any color i choose with the space would go along with what i chose so i'm happy that i chose this okay i really really like the film that i have this is the desk remember i pick it's a bamboo desk i picked it because it matched with well, listen, it doesn't match perfectly because it's light brighter, but, you know, it's there. It's there on the spectrum with it. And, yeah, I went along with it, and I'm pretty happy with it. It has white railings. I should want, I want to show you the whole design. Bing, 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 bing. You see that? It has that X right there. So, it's, a, it's, it's quite rustic. I know, when I see <laughs> a cross as part of the design of an item i just think okay it's meant to be rustic themed so i just want to show you that unless you're into rustic things like that here i have my laptop and i use the hdmi cord to connect to my to my monitor my pencil case my pencil case is what i brought over here okay I got from, I have a desk in my mom's place that I built, so I'm just bringing over the pencil case and this file holder. That's my Wi-Fi box and the Florida water. Let me grab it and talk about it. Why do I have this? I first saw this on TikTok, right? I remember scrolling through TikTok and this girl talking about showing off her Florida water and that it had all these, it, it's something that people who do like hoodoo, voodoo, whatever 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 they use it into their spells or whatever <laughs> and i think they also dab it into their skin listen i'm probably gonna research it and add more extra details into this video while i talk okay but from the top of my head it just has spiritual qualities but i wasn't very interested in that well that, that was interesting but i was interested in the history of florida water as you can see here I, i'm guessing that it has the year no it does not but it was florida water cologne was made in the 19th in the 19th century here in america and i like the story of how that is what it was made for and that and what it's currently used for i'm never going to open this i'm never going to use it so i just like having i guess a historical brand in my home okay it's and, it, and i like that it's the design is cute and it's florida themed and i live in florida so why not and i just decided to put that there next to the box and i think it looks pretty there with the window film and over here let me tell you the story i am i have these magnets this weekly planner and this monthly planner i got from amazon i got it with this came with it the markers and this magnet holder and this eraser okay i'm very happy with this purchase i was initially disappointed because i would i thought i was gonna put it here like if you're one-minded with me you would see how putting the the monthly and the weekly right here will look nice but let me tell you it's not sticking over here when i i don't know like is this not metal i don't know what's going on but it would not stick over here but when i moved it over here i guess this is has more magnetic force so it can only stick over here so initially i was disappointed like maybe i should take this back because i want it in the front i thought i was going to stick into the front and i'll be able to do cool things with it but i am happy okay i'm satisfied <laughs> i think it's cute i mean i think i think i might still prefer it to be over here but i really don't mind it over here 
this is the workspace so I do think this is complementary with the workspace and just some extra details about the studio I live in my lease is for a year I pay a thousand dollars a month no water no electric I am free from paying those I just pay a thousand dollars a month to live here and that's pretty good that's a nice saving opportunity for me and which is why this was attractive I want to end the video listing off a wish list the flies outside are finding a way to come in through the windowsill like over here in these corners and I, I don't know I, I did all sorts of things like I tried to close it try to make it seal tight because I just understand but they just keep coming out these are all the flies it was able to trap seeing that I have these flies coming in I would like to get a Venus fly trap you know you know just a plant it's about right get my first plant and have it be a Venus fly trap like a baby Venus fly trap and put it here I would also wish to have I want to get some cereal so I definitely want to get those cereal containers you probably see along on TikTok people who have organized their fridge but I definitely want to try meal prepping and all that shebang definitely want to organize my freezer so I guess in my wish list would be a whole bunch of um organizational items you know just for the fridge they have these appliance that they have this appliance that organizes the cords you have around your desk so i'm thinking that i might have to fi i might figure this out without it right without it but i do want to try i'm it, i have it in my mind that maybe that would help me organize the cords i have going on there so it's definitely that's definitely on my wish list on my speculative li list i should say I want to get to a place where I no longer have to like buy my own breads. I can just get a bread maker off Amazon, like a hundred dollar bread maker, um, put in the ingredients and watch the fresh bread be made. I think that would just be really, really cool to have.